All right, hello everybody, and welcome back. Welcome back to James's Minecraft channel. Um, so I I discovered what? Well, no, sorry. Before I take credit for something that I didn't actually do, I saw on a video uh, by Etho um, a really cool trick. It's honestly the coolest thing ever, or at least at the minute. Other than Leicester City winning the Premier League. No one's going to get that reference, except for... <laughs> yeah, no one's going to get that reference. Let's not even pretend someone's going to get it. Um, anyway, no. As you can see, I'm standing on a tree with my elytra on. Uh, I've put on Breaking 3 on it, which should be good. It's fully repaired. I've got uh, three-quarter iron, just prop 4, basically, which is decent. Um... We've got a full stack of food, we've got lots of arrows, and in our hand we have a punch to unbreaking three bow. All this stuff is required to take a flight, uh, a trip. Now, I've done this already, I did a practice run. Um, I'm trying to get really good at this, and I think... I've, I don't think I've mastered it quite yet, but I'm doing okay. So I thought I would, uh, I would just continue uh, on camera. So basically, uh, as you know, bow boosting is a thing uh, since Punch came out where you can like kind of jump forward, shoot yourself and then you'll go like further, faster kind of thing. It'll like boost you. Um, I saw on the video that you can do the same when you're flying and it can basically keep you in the air for forever. Well, until your electro run out or your food runs out or yeah. Or your arrows run out. So that's why we're stocked up in these. Ender pearls are useful too. So like if you do land, then you can throw an ender pearl to high point and start your journey again. So I managed to f uh, I managed to go out all the way to from here. So we're at what well zero zero is just over there. So we're basically at zero zero. And I managed to fly all the way to. Um, I think it was about 2,000 maybe? 3,000? I, I didn't want to go too far because obviously we don't want to load like half the world and make the world size huge. Um, but we did manage to get quite far out. So we're going to try the same here. I was never very good at the bow boosting at the start. It's just, when I'm in the air, I'm okay at it. It's just at the start, I'm not very good. Uh, how do you bow boost? Oh! There we go. And then... You need to try and try and get yourself up in the air. As you can see, where I need to pick up some speed before I can increase. In I should get my F3 on just for reference. So as you can see, we're at 123. We're managing to make it over the mountains. Now this is so difficult. We need to fly down here. I'm trying to. We're not really getting air in the same kind of way as we were before. Okay, back up at 130. Okay, where are we at? 140. So as you can see, I'm using the bow. I'm kind of pointing it upwards. Oh, we're quite high now. Pointing it upwards to uh, enable it to kind of boost us up. And yeah, my computer's not amazing, so we won't be getting amazing views of the whole land. In fact, I'll be surprised if we even see the land. Oh, that's good, that's good. Come on. Okay, we're at 180. As you can see, we're at 1000x already. Um, we need to keep eating. Uh, but yeah, we're doing alright. We've dropped now to 140. So, anyway. So yeah, this is just a good way to get along. See, we're at 1500 already and we've been travelling so... Well, we've not travelled that far at all. I guess the tricky part would come if you came to, oh, we need to focus on flying. Um, I think the trick is you need to like kind of pick up speeds for a wee bit and then you need to like kind of shoot yourself a bit and that will enable you to gain altitude. Uh, this is pretty, pretty cool area actually, this mountain area. Might build there at some point. The nice snowy caps. Let's try and Pick up a wee bit more speed. Uh, we're at 2,000 already. Let's go to... Yeah, let's turn around here. 
just for uh, comfort's sake. We need to eat. Now, as you can see, I only shot like myself across there. You need to kind of shoot yourself up in order to like gain altitude. I'm not doing a good job of it, am I? Yeah, like I'm sure there's other people that can do this a lot better. You see some people that like bow boosts and bad line, and they're like they just do it. You know, it's not even an issue. Um, and I'm having it's. I think it's actually easier to do it when you're like in the air. Um, but it's it's all right. Now look at this. See that swamp? Have they changed swamp textures? Oh, have they changed swamp textures? Can you see that? See that swamp down there? It's uh, it's like green. It's green like um, like forests. I I saw in grape applesauce's one is is you see that he put out the other day. He was he started near a swamp and it was green and I thought it was like a texture pack. I was like, ooh, might try that. Um, but it turns out it could be a change. That's pretty cool. I never knew that. I only just like discovered it in my last run. Okay, now the trouble is getting back, but we should be okay. As you can see, we're way above the mountains, which is always good. We need to make sure we're pointing upwards. Ooh. And we are on course for... We don't even need to shoot ourselves anymore. We can just, like, kind of drift. Oh, up. <laughs> the fact the world loads so slowly means that it's kind of hard sometimes to see where the mountains are. There's Moria right there, right behind us. We should probably spend some time working on that at some point. There's Dashville, our village that I kind of killed all the villagers, or zombies did. Uh, let's try and lad. Oh, that was a sore one. Anyway, so... Not sure if anyone knew that. If you did, I apologise because I've just shown you something you already knew. If you're an expert at it, then I'm very, very sorry that I tried to show that I was alright at it when you're amazing. But if you didn't know about it, hey, hope it helps. Um, the I think the only issue is, obviously, the Elytra is, uh, doesn't have much durability. And like, even if you put, like, you can put Unbreaking on it, that's fine. But if you put, uh, even if you put, like, Mending on it, you, there'd be no way to get XP unless you were like, um, unless you had like infinite bottles of enchanting, which I doubt many people do, to be honest. <laughs> uh, let's kill this guy. No. Ah. Okay. Well, right. Um. So yeah, hope that was interesting. And that will I use that to travel around? Ah, I might do. It would look ten times cooler if the world loaded, like, on, like, when it was supposed to. But if it doesn't, that's whatever, it's just a way of it. So yeah, that was pretty fun, um, and a good way of getting around. I might, you know that hill I started on? I, I was thinking, like, I was going to build a tower up there, kind of like, or a mini, yeah, kind of a tower, or a, not a castle, or maybe like, Oh dear, that was close. Um, maybe like a mini castle. Um, but I think I'll build like a, a launch pad because, I mean, think about it. We don't need to be that high in order to get like started. So, and that seems to be a decent height. So we might we might just go for it. Although I'll do that in another, another episode. Right now, there's something I want to do and it's down here. Oh, all right. Let's see, what do we need? Well, let's go down and see if we can... See if we can remember what we were doing, or if see if I can remember what I was doing. Because <laughs> I honestly don't. Um, right, so yes, zombie villagers. This is what we're working on. So the zombies will go up here, down here, along here. This is where the junction is going to be. Um, uh, let's see if I can nip in here. Okay, and we kind of find ourselves in a bit of a cave, but we can just 
cover that over like that. And if we do that, okay, it goes as far as here. That's perfect. And it goes both ways, which is exactly what we want. So, uh, we're just going to, oh, you know what, we could totally make a, like an XP farm here. I mean, I know we've already got a zombie XP farm, uh, but we could just do one here, should we? Uh, we might, I'll think about it. Let's cut that off for the moment, because it's tad annoying. Now, um, the water goes as far as here. We now need to figure out a way that will enable the zombies to... Well, the first zombie villager comes, ends up in here. There'll hopefully be like a pressure plate here, which will activate something that will enable the, the next zombie villager to go over the top. But I'm not sure... How we're going to do that, in all honesty. So, um, pistons. Will we be using these? I really don't know. Uh, let's continue this along, I think. Just like so, because uh, that's where the tubing will be. Um, zombies will fall. Hit the pressure plate. Um... <laughs> I guess we can also do some work on the place where the zombies will be standing. I'm not sure how four will be fine. Oh, got, got ourselves some coal. Okay, as you can see, we've now got uh, four uh, places for the zombies to uh, collect, or the zombie villagers, rather. Uh, that should be enough, I would imagine. Um, we now just need to work out a way of like getting the each one to go over the top. I think I'm thinking we could have like so as you can see here the work stream ends there. What we need is like a piston to come out and then we need like another water source to be released. But I'm not entirely sure if that's the best way of doing it. Um because, I mean, minecarts is probably, on balance, a lot easier. So in here, we're going to have a sticky piston. It's going to be like that. Okay, so. That looks okay. Um, what I'm thinking is that we wire the redstone. Uh, not the redstone, we wire the pressure plate to the... Uh, piston up here, so we'll just do that, I guess. Brilliant. Okay. So that's part one of the plan done. Uh, zo uh, zombie villager comes here, stands on that, and that opens up. Now, see the uh, see the issue is. Uh, I guess it's not really an issue. I was going to say if there's no zombie in there, then how will the zombies know when to go over but that doesn't really make sense because the point is that's the first free space for a zombie to go into therefore that's that's what we want i'm just thinking though like if we kind of need a track down here so what i'm thinking is we might want to switch that to tripwire so i guess i'll go find some tripwire hooks all right i had to go and get the necessary materials to make uh, trip wire hook. I'm not actually. I, I'm not convinced it's going to work. To be honest, simply because there is not enough space, I believe, between the the kind of holding places. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's just get in here, shall we? Yeah, there's not going to be enough. Oh well, no. We could use the repeaters. We could use. Repeaters, let's get some of these. Okay, uh, we've got a repeater. Uh, what we need now is that. Um, piston should be somewhere over here. Yep, piston's right there. And that's. It needs to be. It needs to be reinverted. So if we go like that. Go like that. 
go like that. Eh? Hey, hey, there we go. So, that way... That way we should be able to get tripwire hooks for each each uh, holding place. And that way we'll be able to get rails below the, uh, the zombie villagers. Because obviously that would not be possible if we had uh, one of these. Oops. Let's get rid of this. One of these. Dispenser. And that will hopefully launch the uh, cart. The mine cart up to the villager, or like it'll, yeah, right there. Will that activate? Cannot tell. No, it doesn't. That's good. Let's just double check, I guess. Let's just double check that this whining will work going back the way it should. There's nothing to say it won't. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, and then the other piston will be right here. Okay, so yeah, that'll work. We only need to do it there and there. We don't need to do it in the middle. So that's good. So we got the first bit up and running. Uh, next bit we need to do is we need to work out how to like. So if, if this is open, we need to work out how the next zombie villager will go over the top. And I have no idea. <laughs> That's the honest answer. I'll sit just here. And it will have a... It'll be a piece of stone. Okay, we need to have a sign there to prevent it from backflowing. Okay, yeah, that's good. We need to work out a way of winding that with uh, with that. So that's going to be equally as challenging. I'm going to put that in just before I forget. Uh, okay. Whoa! Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. So we've got the piston over here. The... Okay, uh, what we ideally would want to do then is probably continue this up, the redstone torch trail up. And then I guess, oh, oh yeah, it's, it's not going <coughs> to, excuse me, it's not going to flow. Let's get that that. There we go. Not not bad, not bad. So by default, that's down, and that's like that. Then when there's a zombie there, oh, because there's no uh, there's no repeater, add that in. Hey! Now, I'm not entirely convinced if that'll work or not, but we can try. How do we... I need to kill the lights. There's no... Like, there's legitimately no switch for killing the lights. I'll go check that out in a minute. So he should not be able to get out of there. Okay. That's the next guy who comes. It's a very awkward experiment. Let's kill some more lights, I guess. There we go. Should have used something that was easier to break than the cobble. And now this is the moment of truth. Let's see, he turns. Yep, keeps going, keeps going. It won't be this messy, I promise. Ah, there we go. Awesome. And the circle... Oh! Starts again. I heard that guy behind me. I'm trying to get him to go in the water. I'm trying to work out why like they're stuck. Let's go find out. This could be the biggest mistake of my life. 
Oh, there probably needs to be like a another block there. Yeah, yeah, that works. Firstly, now I'm stuck in a tube with a bunch of zombies. Okay. Well, well, that's good. At least we know for certain that it uh, it works. That's a good. Uh, that's a good start. So, um, but yeah, that's that's pretty good. Sorry if this episode's been quite crummy. I don't know why. I just, I guess I've been too focused on redstone and just making sure this whole thing will work. Uh, we do need uh, a few more controls here and there. We need a junction. I don't, I'm actually out of pistons. I've only got two pistons left. Uh, but we just need a junction gate. We need an activator for the lights. And then we need to wire all this stuff up. And then it should be good to go. Um, I might put stone brick in the back. I'm not too sure yet. But we'll see. Okay. And welcome back. Uh, I have done quite a bit off camera. Uh, more than I intended. <laughs> but I've not tested it yet, so we can we can do that now. Um, I'm wondering if we've got any glass. If not, we'll just use a temporary block to keep the mobs in. Uh, well, we've got glass panes, but not glass itself. So, what have I achieved? Well, as you can see, the place is slightly more decorated. We've got a floor um, of stone slabs and uh, stone bricks. Uh, we've also got a uh, spruce leaf ceiling, which is kind of traditional for me. Um, I've actually lowered the floor by one. Uh, you probably won't notice, but I have. Uh, we've got our tunnel here. I moved everything from our temporary base up there. I've just moved it to all down here. So, Because, um, of course, there was a ladder going up to an upper section here. I've just kind of closed it off now, so we won't need to go back into there. Uh, what else have we done? We have, or I have, I guess, off camera. Uh, put a cage over this thing. Uh, we can still see in, but it won't emit light, uh, or it light won't penetrate into it, so those zombies will spawn. Uh, and apart from that, well, and I guess I've kind of decorated this area. I quite like how this looks with the stone, uh, the chiselled stone brick and the uh, stone brick in general and I've added stairs here and there but some iron fences quite liking how this looks what this is going to mean for the rail tracks I've no idea but we can uh, we can work on that uh, lighting too we need to work on uh, I don't actually have any lights on me so I'll have to do that another time or I'll have to run and grab some um, we also need to put chests in I think I'm going to put the chest area like over here just of kind of general storage um, we need to add the rail track. I have also, so we've got two levers here. One is to, I think, for the lights. Or I know it's for the lights. <laughs> like so. Didn't intend any to spawn, but some did. Uh, I wasn't quick enough. The other is for the junction. And this is where we can, we can actually test to see if this works now. Uh, so let's get some cobblestone on our bar. Let's just close that off. We need to be watching here to see if there's any flaws in the design. So, let's pretend these guys are zombie villagers. Now this is an ideal test because it'll tell us if this will keep up. If there's many in the system at once. So, so far so good. That's one zombie in. Okay, that looks like it's worked. Um, come on, come on, come on. This is the asset test. Oh, it did work. And they were literally right next to each other. Hey! Okay, so none of these are zombie villagers, but as we can see, it has worked. Um, let me just turn the sound down. Actually, it's, it's already at a decent level. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's worked. Um, it separated the four of them, which is exactly what we want. Let's just get rid of these guys. And yeah, no, no flaws there. Um, so we can sleep easy knowing that this part of the project has worked. Let's just get rid of them. We're going to have to find better blocks here to hold them in. I might do trapdoor. I'm, I'm not really sure. We'll, we'll work on that. So, what happens to the zombies that are, yeah, the regular zombies that aren't villagers that go up the other way? Well, um, if I could just dim the lights again. Let's change the junctions. I bet you we get a zombie villager this time. 
<laughs> now we're no longer testing it. Um, oh yeah, while they kind of move about, I got a zombie guy. You see him? He's in... Uh, He's in full iron and he's three fourths enchanted. And he's holding an item so he won't despawn. Uh, I'm wondering if we could try and like. Um, if we could try and like name tag him. Well, I mean, he won't despawn anyway, but if we name tag him, we can call him something and then just kind of keep him somewhere. The zombies that get spawned and do not go into the separator, or in other words, the, uh, the regular zombies, what they. where they go. They, their destination is obviously straight ahead. As you can see up there, there's uh, e the junction means they either go this way or straight ahead. Like, as you can see where they're going now. Maybe not. This gold guy. Yep. So, right over there. Basically, they zigzag around to here. Then they go up a huge elevator all the way to the surface. Or not all the way to the surface, up to about Y50. And then they dropped in here, and we've got ourselves our own uh, XP farm. So this is our second zombie XP farm. Uh, the other one was actually a double spawner, which I was really happy with. So we still got that one, and we got this one if we uh, if we need it. Um, so this is this is just an added extra. I mean, I could have just killed the zombies, like you know, I could have just killed them, but I decided it'd be best just to make this as retro as possible. Or is, you know, useful and so nothing goes to waste kind of thing. Self-sufficient. Something like that. Uh, we've already got quite a few things. Look at that. Prot 3, I'm breaking 3 gold boots. And they're undamaged. Like, that's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. We'll get some of these on. I've got I've got a bad feeling that... Wait, this it doesn't... These don't get powered if... By the, um, what do you call it? These don't get powered, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's just check. Yeah, okay, they don't get powered. Uh, okay, that's good. So it doesn't power the, the track either. Good stuff. Okay. And then... They're going to have to come out this far. We're going to have to make a, a, a way of restocking those dispensers because I... I've got no idea. They are dispensers, aren't they? Yeah. Don't know what they would be. I thought I might have made droppers by accident. This guy is swimming against the current. I've never seen this before. Like, how? How is he not dying? Or not getting pushed? Depth Strider! Oh, I bet he's got Depth Strider boots! Oh, well, let's hope Mojang don't make it so every zombie or every mob has Depth Strider books, because then this would this would happen a lot. Oh, devil, I don't have a, I don't think I've got a looting sword on me. Let's try to get this guy out. Come on. Come on, mate. I want to try and get this guy to uh, to spawn. Uh, to, to drop his boots. Let's see if we can get them. Ah, oh, dropped his chest plate. Uh, still pretty good. Ah, that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, I'm just going to call it an episode there, I think. Um, I've done quite a bit off-camera. Uh, I'll try and do more on-camera next episode, but no promises. Um, just one quick thing. As you can see, we've got the very, very loud, massive zombies here. Oh, look, there's a there's an, another iron one in there. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, if, if I hit them all at once... Like, tons of them die. And we get all the XP. It's really cool. Oh. And of course we get all the armor as well, which is obviously the whole reason why we're doing this, is so we can get a good supply of armor. Come on. These guys are taking forever. And we we need to... I need to, like, make this better. I'm not sure how I'll do that, but... But... We'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good day. And I will see you in the next episode.